Well, y'all, it is uh, November 3rd, and my time in Missouri is coming to a close. Just got the truck packed up, wrapping it up with the guys at the Hunting Public. What a roller coaster of an experience the last few days has been. A really unique blend of the most amazing positive things you could ever happen have happened in a tree stand mixed in with uh, the worst things that could happen when you chase any animals you know not being able to find one after you shot it hopefully you all have seen through the videos the passion the dedication the hard work these gentlemen and their other colleagues who are sitting in a tree as we speak have uh, put into this hunt their effort to try to recover that deer uh, for me and the sacrifice that they made with their own time and energy was uh, really means a lot to me for sure so I had an amazing trip uh, I got my butt thoroughly handed to me in the Midwest between Kansas and Missouri it was a tough go but man I, I know a lot more today about whitetails than I did two weeks ago got some closer friends than I'd had two weeks ago, for sure, both in both Kansas and here in Missouri. And I'm uh, looking forward to the next time we can collaborate with the guys at the Hunting Public. They, they do a big turkey tour every spring, predominantly hunting kind of the Midwest, slid down into the South a little bit, but we're trying to convince them to come out West and really show us what the heck to do with turkeys, because we have <laughs> no idea. And these the guys are way. turkey killers. They, uh, they've they been chasing birds for many, many years. And uh, the noises that Aaron can make just out of <laughs> his own mouth when it comes to turkeys or like reproducing the hoot of an owl is just he could he could make a full-on series i told him if you guys um remember the old video uh man what, what was that the guy the cop that could make all the funny noises yeah oh yeah what the, the heck? guy that was on police, uh, police, police, police academy, academy. Yeah. yeah there's police academy with the sound effects <laughs> when it comes to turkeys I'm not, you know nobody's gonna pay me to be in some kind of feature film to make sounds <laughs> in my mouth so is all turkeys. his ability to call it he started doing it in the tree the other day and i was like what the heck was that and he was just yelping at the turkeys that just flew off the roost. Uh, it's been a rad time. Make sure you guys go over to The Hunting Public. We will leave the link in the description box. Uh, the videos from this hunt for them have already been up. They were putting them up almost right after oh, yeah. we're filming them. Aaron's <laughs> in the edit bay, so it'll be on their channel embedded within their deer tour. They've been doing a deer tour series, and I think we're up to day 32 or three. They've been uh, going all around the Midwest, chasing whitetails, started back when uh, they were killing stuff in velvet. They plan to be continuing all the way through January, kind of ending up down south. But again, they are making some fantastic content. And the thing that we've realized when we collaborate with other people on YouTube, whether it's Born Raised, Outlaw, Lunkers, The Hunting Public, when you meet them, they're exactly the way that you see them on camera. They are who they are. They're great people. Uh, we all are trying to help each other win. And so go over there, follow their channel, subscribe to their channel. I promise you, if you currently whitetail hunt, you will learn more about effectively chasing whitetail. If you never whitetail hunted like us, but you want to maybe think about getting out and trying it, you're going to learn more than your brain will be able to probably absorb. <laughs> uh, and you'll have a lot of notes to write down. But these guys are chasing public land whitetails doing the hang and hunt style using some different techniques that i think uh most folks are used to and that's uh that's part of the reason it's been so fun to get out with them go check them out guys we will uh see you on the road back to colorado to go meet up with the crew for our favorite hunt of the year it was the semi live series in colorado for mule deer it is uh switching up just a little bit we're going to be hunting with eric and casey and logan and then our buddy mark boardman from vortex will be joining us just in a couple days so uh that's where i'm heading back west to Get my mind cleared on this long 12 hour drive and go get back after it because <laughs> it's the only thing you can do. Well, hello. Good morning. And hello to you, Wind. Guys, is it crazy to think if you guys started watching this series with us that we are in month three? This is the third month of this project. And we are kind of coming to a uh, coming t to the end. It is winding down a little bit. Lots of laughter in here. What's going on, Gage? Oh, that's going on. But uh, we are. I am. I am getting ready to head out to Colorado tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, I pick Mark Boardman up. Our good buddy Mark Boardman from Vortex Optics is joining us on the hunt in Colorado this year. He drew a tag, and uh, we're gonna go show him around. But I pick him up in Salt Lake tomorrow. We're gonna drive about halfway over, and then final the uh, final leg we'll drive over Monday morning. The season actually started today, but uh, Brian's in Missouri. Eric's doesn't have a tag this year. He uh, forgot to put in. 
and I just wanted to be home for four or five days after our last trip to Kansas. So anyways, I am getting ready to go. And if you have been watching the series, you know I like to food prep a little bit before we go. So the plan today is I'm gonna do my world famous chili. And that consists of venison steaks, venison hamburger, huh, elk hamburger, venison hamburger, there. A lot of these ingredients and a pinch of love. You gotta, you gotta put love into your ingredients. Anyways, I'm gonna do chili, I'm gonna do spaghetti, and I'm gonna do meatballs. Uh, kind of like Korean meatballs, which should be really scrumptious. But I'm just trying to defrost my meat right now. I hate defrosting my meat in the microwave. I do not recommend it, but if you're in a pinch, it does work. Just don't burn the edges, because you can actually cook the edges before it's defrosted. Make sure you are, are doing the proper flip over, turn over, and your microwave will tell you when that is, because it keeps telling me to turn it over. Has ever eaten raw meat before? I like it. It's like a venison tartare. So I've been marinating the steaks in soy sauce, a little bit of Worcester, and uh, they're still a little bit frozen. So I'm, I cubed them up, I'm gonna put them back in the in the uh, marinade, and let them finishing, finish defrosting, and then they'll be ready to throw on and go into our chili. <laughs> Oh no. So I used two cans of pinto beans, a can of black beans, and a can of red beans. Guys, okay, so we are going two cans of green chilies. One can of diced jalapenos. Actually, I'm gonna only put a half a can of jalapenos in there because Brian's kind of a whip when it comes to bringing the heat. We are gonna go a half a can of tomato paste. We will go one full can of my wife's infamous tomato juice. She canned and boiled and cut and did all that herself. And this is what we got. Got some paprika, pretty liberal with it, you know, maybe two tablespoons. And then we got some light, this is fancy light chili powder. I like the, the real stuff from Hatch, New Mexico, but this, I'll go with this. All right, so this is what the bad boy's gonna look like right now. We're just gonna stir that up a little bit. And then while I'm cooking my meat, I'm just gonna have this on a low simmer, maybe like a two. It's already smelling amazing. I almost forgot. All right, so we got our deer hamburger cooked, browned with a little bit of garlic, some onions. And then we're just gonna place that into our chili mixture, like so, without making too bad of a mess in your wife's kitchen, because then she'll yell at you, not allow you to do that anymore, probably not allow you to go hunting anymore, probably make you change your friends. All right, so we're about three quarters of the way done. Check this out, it is just looking and tasting amazing. I've, I've, test, I've tested it a few times, and it is uh, bomb, it's bomb. But we're not done yet, we are not even close. Now we will put our venison cubed steaks into the pan. And we're just gonna brown these just like we did the hamburger. You don't want to cook them completely, just brown them. A little soy sauce in there, it gives it a little flavor. All right, guys, the steak has been browned. I actually took it out and cut it uh, in half, so it's not as rare as it looks. It's about a medium rare right now, but, uh, so now we're gonna put the steak into this bowl of Beautifulness, goodness, heavenliness, words with ness that end with ness, you know? Sick. All right, so this is gonna be the kind of the final step here. I, I don't mind a little bit of that soy sauce getting in there. Give, it, give that chili a little flavor, a little different flavor anyway. So now that all the ingredients have been installed into this pot, we are just gonna simmer it for about 20 minutes and then she'll be ready. And then what I'll, I'll show you what I do with it uh, to take it over to Colorado, a simple, simple method to freeze it, put it in the cooler, and uh, haul it with you. It's been simmering for about 25 minutes, just shut it off. But what I do is that I use one of these Tupperware things, and so I can throw it in there, and I can throw it in the freezer for one night before I leave. So we get over there, it's, some of it's still frozen, and uh, but you know it's gonna be good. 
So this is uh, gonna be chili for one of the nights over in Colorado. I gotta show you guys this. I did this recipe earlier this year. So if you want, I'll link it down below, but these are uh, meatballs. And then I'm gonna put this Korean sauce on it when we get over there. Thumbs up. All right, guys, I got a lot to do still to pack and uh, get my hunting stuff ready, but the food situation should be covered, okay? We should be good. Going down right now. Points are going this way. Yeah. You want those headed at the target. See, like that. Mm -hmm. If you're going like that way, the points are pointed back away. I do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See, they will bounce back. Give me the star. Watch out. Show. Sure. Watch. You ready? You ready? You ready? There it is. Yes. Yeah, like, they go in. Hold that in your palm. Let's take a look at it. They go in. See? That's going to ruin my target. Do they sell Chinese... Sorry, let's step back. These are not Chinese stars. These are called shurikens. Do they sell shuriken targets anywhere? I'm looking not at the audience. I'm looking right in your eyes, oh. Logan, because you would know. <laughs> Logan's yeah. favorite thing in life is uh, battle weapons. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Different types of battle weapons from different centuries. We live? At five. <laughs> what did you just do, you idiot? How do you feel no knowing now that you will never throw another shuriken at my house? That's not for me. Watch the replay. No. One chance with one star. No, you're done. <coughs> November 3rd. Is coming to a close, everybody. Went ahead and just did the long drive today, 12 hours from 12 hours from Missouri, all the way to Denver. I just pulled into Denver, getting a hotel room. My wife's coming in for some work, so I'm gonna get a chance to hang out with her for a few days before I go meet back up with the crew. Pretty tired. It's been a pretty emotional the last couple days, and uh, I know I talked to the boys at the hunting public. They headed back in this afternoon, search around for that deer even more. Give those guys a ton of respect. They are uh, very persistent when it comes to search for animals and I really truly appreciate all the help that they gave me and continue to give me. I was just kind of daydreaming, driving in the truck, thinking, man, how crazy would it be if they were able to turn that deer up and just kind of waiting for the phone to ring. And So far it hasn't rung yet, but I know they're, t they're planning on spending some more time in there, seeing if they can tr turn them up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for following along. We appreciate the heck out of the support, and uh, we will be back here, same place, same time. We'll see you tomorrow.